Hello, I am here to demonstrate the manual removal of a placenta and internal bimanual compression. So we have established that Jan has been bleeding a lot. We've given two um, things of pit and I see that her uterus is at her umbilicus and that her um, uterus is discoid in shape. So I feel and I suspect that this placenta has not yet detached. And she, because she's been bleeding so much, we decide that it's time to go in and get it. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on sterile gloves while I'm telling Jan that I'm very sorry, but I'm gonna to have to go inside and take this uterus, this placenta, excuse me, out um, and that just breathe through it and relax as much as possible. And I'm going to go as quickly as I can. So I'm bringing my fingers into the, um, following the cord into the cervix, into the vagina, up into the uterus and um, I feel the insertion of where the cord meets the placenta. Now I have to follow, take my fingers and move it to the edge until I feel the edge of the placenta along the uterine wall. So I feel that, I found it. I'm now going to take, well, I don't quite have to do that yet. I'm now going to take my fingers and the edge of my hand and shear the placenta off of the uterine wall like a spatula until I get the whole thing and I have felt I have able to get the entire edge off I now take my hand my left hand and I hold um, and so that I do not uh, cause an inversion with the uterus I take this entire placenta in my right hand now that it's all sheared off and I'm holding here, holding pressure, and removing the entire placenta. I had to, it was actually weirder this time with that, but that's right. <laughs> it's in the bowl, and I tell um, my assistant to go check it out and make sure all the pieces are out. I see that Jan is still bleeding, and I decide I need to go back in. I'm going in with my fingers up to the cervix, not inside, and my hand is in a fist. The fingers turn into a fist, I take my left hand, put it on the fundus of the uterus, and I have a nice tight ball that I make. So my right hand is a fist holding on and not moving it. My left hand is above the fundus into a tight ball and holding pressure. And I'm gonna hold pressure for a while like that until I feel comfortable enough of letting go a little bit and assessing the bleeding. Um, and at that point, I will assess um, if Jan needs IV fluids, if we need to call EMS, uh, if she needs further medications, we can do that. Um, I'm also going to give her uh, instructions about uh, increased uh, chance of infection now that my hands have all been up inside. Um, but that's the bimanual compression.